and I guess some lady just was driving and just flew around the corner and just blasted me like 30 feet. Sean, Ross, some of my boys here calling me um, the boss. I tell them, I tell them, um, only boss of turds. Got five kids: Susanna, William, Bradley, Zara, and Zadie. Had my first son, Bradley, when I was 19. Yeah, he's been to a lot of pools. First time he's seen a pool with water, he was freaking out. He's like, people swim in it, Bradley. He said, like fish. <laughs> yeah, I grew up in Oceanside, living in Menifee now. Uh, my uncle actually gave me my first skateboard. It was like a 70s skateboard, aluminum um, banana board with the welded trucks on, some snakes wheels. My buddy had it and I would get it back, but he's doing life in prison now. And he's, they said he was in his storage when he moved to Arizona. In high school, I got in with Sector 9 through my good friend Jeremy Peckham. He was one of the first guys I started skating with in Oceanside when I was like 10 years old, riding around. He had a little spine ramp in front of his house. And I'm like, whoa, what's up guys? <laughs> when I was skating, I was like, not too many kids that skated back then. My age especially, it was just like high schooler KIs. So I was always hanging out with guys that are like 10 years older than me. Give me the Grom torture. <laughs> I was just, every Thursday night, we go over to my buddy Mike's ball for years. And I brought, I had both of my sons with me. Or I wasn't drinking that night. And I took the kids to the store down the street to get some snacks. And um, came back to the bowl and I'm like, oh, I gotta go back and get something. And I was riding my skateboard back. And I guess some lady just was driving and just flew around the corner and just blasted me like 30 feet. And I guess I broke a few of my ribs, cracked my skull, three sp spots, busted my eye. I'm blind in my left eye now, but at least I got my right eye. I was in a coma for like three weeks and they're telling my wife all these crazy situations that might happen. She stood through me like a champ. And I woke up. When I woke up, my ribs were fine. My scars were healed. I told my wife, hey, I slammed worse than that. Let's get out of here. I said, oh, no. You got to just chill. So I ended up, I was in the hospital for like three months after that. Trying to break out and shit. Fucking, they had me strapped down. I was biting my straps, chipped all my teeth. Or do you kind yeah, of I, I, I don't even out? remember. I just remember being at Mike's. So like I thought my kids were with me when I got hit. Luckily, they were at Mike's with my friends. It was really tough being in the hospital that long. I remember I seen a lot of demons jumping in people and so many hallucinations of like crazy creatures coming at me. I thought, I always thought I had a security guard and I kept thinking they were like my best friends. I'm like, dude, there's no way they're paying you to come all the way out here from Arizona to watch me sick. <laughs> I ended up having my own room for like a mu couple months, but before that I was like switching the room so much in the different spots with like multiple people. It was pretty trippy. I kind of made, I, in my mind, I thought that it was like I'd go into a room with 30 people and there was only 25 bunks. 
So I would just go straight in there and just move off some shit on their bunk and be like, no, this is what happened. I'm 30 years old. I got hit hard in the head. I need this spot. Wow, so you feel that you had to like explain yourself so that you can- <laughs> Yeah, it was like, it tripped me out. It was like, kind of like, it's like jail style. There was no doubts. I just thought I could do everything. I, right when I got out, I hit up my, my like best buddy. And I'm like, hey, you, you got any time? I want to take out my tranny right now and get it fixed. And we went over there, took out my tranny, put it in my minivan. Wait, this it. is one of the first things you did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put it in my minivan, took it to the shop. They rebuilt it. We put it in there. And it was doing, it was doing good for a while until I moved. I can't believe it. My tranny just blew again. And then after that, my wife had her fifth baby, Zadie. So she was pregnant during this time? She was pregnant when I was in the hospital. So that was really tough for all of them. She's like my angel baby. <laughs> I have a, a bunch of appointments set up with different doctors and all that. Yeah, that's so funny. They didn't really even know I was blind. And I didn't really know I was blind until like a month after or something. When I went to the eye doctor, I was just like, oh shoot. I don't know, it was weird. Like that's I started crazy. riding my bicycle first. Okay. And that helped just to kind of get my um, motor skills going and stuff. And I wasn't really supposed to skate for a long time, for quite a while, but I started skating again. Probably over at Barefoot Mike's with less people around. I wasn't really worried about ever falling more, just like worried about people skateboard just flying at my head or something. I got hit in about March, I think about nine months ago already. It's just so weird. It's just, I've done, skated for like most of my life and doing this top stuff and it's just like relearning it again. I was trying to surf. Surfing was harder because my eye was like, the water would just flush my bad eye and then my right eye would kind of get blurry and it's kind of a little irritating. I'm just so blessed. My, the skating community really helped me out when I was in trouble. They came over to my house and said hi to my wife and my kids and helped out around the house. And I just love skating so much. It's so fun. And it's good, yeah, and it's a good thing to do. I always take my sons to the park with me. Yeah. We ride, we have fun. <laughs> Sick, dude. I'm Thank just you. glad to be here for my kids. I always have fun skating with my good friends because you can't do it alone, so. Yep. You gotta do it for the boys. <laughs> I just want to keep riding, go faster, get higher airs. Fun hasn't stopped. Pick, picked up the knee pads, but never been good at knee sliding. But here at Elsinore, I've been skating here a lot, and it's got a really big ball, nice one. I think it'll be fun. A little magic carpet slides. Yeah, Just take care of yourself. Be healthy. Just ride and don't take it too seriously. Just have fun. Like I said, it's always better with your friends, so hit up a few friends to just go skate and just get out and roll around. You don't always have to get better or do better. Just keep the flow going.